So uh, live sync. So here I've got a bunch of scalars. Now what I'm going to do, um, uh, just to make it obvious, I'm going to open, I'll open four of them on screen so you can see what's happening. But, you know, it's a typical um, straight up logic patch. I'm using the internal lo-fi sound. So the lo-fi instrument, internal instrument, is a new instrument for Scalar 2.7. Yeah, it's a really, really nice, nice sound. Um, and um, I particularly love, there's lots of new chord sets, we'll go through them, but I particularly love the, the 80s chord sets. They're, they're really thick and authentic and nice. Um, so straight away, you know, 2.7, this is all unique to 2.7. Um, and you can see that I've just basically dragged, I've just, you know, copied and dragged those chords down to section C, which is our section builder, um, uh, our progression builder, excuse me. And you can see that I have door sync enabled just by right, right clicking it. Uh, so that means when I hit play in uh, logic, it will play. Um, not only do I have that scalar, but I've populated those uh, same chords. Let me just uh, make some sense of this. I'll just move the scalars uh, into various corners so you can see. So that's my first scalar playing 80s2 chord set with that lo fi. This is exactly the same thing here. Um, I've moved the chords down the bottom and I am using heavy hitter uh, and that's in door sync mode too. Um, and here I've got a third scalar which is same chords down the bottom i've just populated those same chords and i've got an arpeggio on it uh, it's also in door sync mode uh, which is basically how we used to run and then uh, i'm just going to mute this fourth one and then here i've got a final scalar or a fourth scalar if you like and i've got the same chords in section c um, but what i've done is i've come into edit mode and i've called up one of the new avant-garde performances um, and here in the edit mode I'm, I'm literally switching uh, between avant-garde one and avant-garde two and that's also in door sync mode so when I hit play theoretically all those chords will play this will play just straight lo-fi chords this will play the heavy hitter chords this is all scalar's internal sounds this will play uh, the substantial internal sound with the arpeggio and the fourth one will play the avant-garde performances okay let's have a listen i'll hit play in logic Yeah, so you get the idea. So they're all playing. Now, previously, if I want to make it, and this is a, a very typical setup for me, if I wanted to go back to Scalar Instance 1 and I want to make a change to that section, see, I can do it, and then I usually have to come up into the sync mode, uh, sync all scalars, um, and, you know, I can sync the sound, I can sync the articulation, the scale, just the, only the progression builder, um which is cool so normally i'd go progression builder only because i don't want you to touch all the individual settings on the scalars but now we've introduced something called live sync um which is really useful so in the sync menu down the bottom you'll see live sync progression builder and it will sync the chords the voicings and the timings so let me explain that so if i if i say okay um yep yeah, can we go can we uh select it and start live sync that's now put everything into leader follower mode. So you can see here um, uh, that the leader, uh, the scalar instance one is flashing as leader and uh, instance two is following, instance three is following and instance four is following. So what that means is theoretically, I can now make any changes to the leader and the others will follow. Uh, let's have a look and um, I'll just come into the main page so we can see all the chords uh so let's say oh, okay cool i've got that set up now i could make individual chord changes which i'll do later but just to really jump off straight away i'm going to go 
uh, and change the chord set and go to the next chord set. Yeah, and what I want is I want the articulations, I want the arpeggio, the avant-garde performances uh, and the other sound to just follow. So if I drag these chords down into section C in the leader, you can see all the others populated. And because I'm in door sync mode, I just hit play. Yeah, it's really cool. It's just such a great way to experiment.